so I think one of the most interesting things is to see the aftermath of Meadow Zoo. Obviously, there are not many supporters left. I think outside of Nick's strength in Pokemon, there's really no bigger content creators left. Even though previously, you did have Alpha Investment, you did have Argos Anonymous, you had Steve Aoki. You had some pretty big names out there in terms of people promoting, even a sports card investor. Jeff Wilson, right? He promoted MetaZoo with Steve Aoki. In fact, they actually recently met together. So where did Argos Anonymous go? He hasn't posted a live stream or a video in over three months now. There's been a lot of interesting news about you know MetaZoo being dumped in the dumpster. There's been a lot of interesting news about MetaZoo uh, bankruptcy hearings and the fact that Mike Waddell had to fundraise, essentially fundraise money on whatnot for his lawyer that now he's going to take and use against the players, right? The last people who are going to get paid, I promise you, this happens in bankruptcy all the time, are the players and the customers who are owed money. It's going to be the San Rio will be paid before you will be, you will get a dime. The Marvel will be paid before you get a dime. The printing company will be paid before you get a dime. You, the player, unfortunately, are the last person that the court will pay. Because to, to them, you're not really a victim. You're just a fool. So back to MetaZoo. So in, in many aspects, I would say Argos Anonymous was much more of a fierce supporter of MetaZoo than even Alpha Investments. Uh, these two really promoted it uh, heavily on YouTube time and time again. Live stream after live stream. And there was never any like, because here's the difference between Argos Anonymous and Nick's strength in Pokemon. Nick's strength in Pokemon, he sells his stuff on eBay. He doesn't sell directly to his subscribers, to my knowledge, or I've never seen him do that. Argos Anonymous, his entire stick was selling it to you, the customer, the subscriber, or ripping them on stream. I'm sure he was a nice guy, and maybe he just chose the wrong product. I That might be the explanation behind it, but he did sell a lot of MetaZoo. And it is very strange that he hasn't really made any updates, at least on his main YouTube channel, which is where he's getting all this information from, um, that he hasn't really made any updates, right? So I would imagine that with all the big MetaZoo news, he should really be commenting on this, right? And saying, hey, you know, this is what I think about MetaZoo. This is what I have. Uh, even Alpha Investment, who has deleted all his MetaZoo videos, which, again, can tell you um, what you need to know, uh, <laughs> that he deleted any positive videos about MetaZoo, has come out and said, you know what, I, I still have a million dollars of dead product. I would love to hear from him how much dead product he has. Um because that would be quite fascinating, right? Uh, I, I think in terms of like actual really interesting content, um, why not? I mean, why would we not want to hear that content? Um, it's, it's very interesting, right? And people like to talk about it. So I'm kind of curious if he has any or if he has, you know, dead inventory or, you know, inventory that he cannot move or sell. So... In terms of like why this is important to me, it can transparency, right? Transparency is super important. Um, one of the reasons transparency is super important because you don't know what type of deals they're cutting. What, and, and that's what I'm a little concerned about for MetaZoo. I've been concerned about that from you know the very get-go is that there are these side deals and people are getting lower price. When Alpha Investment says that he pays for his promos, what does he pay for them? Right, it, it just kind of ends there. There's no real, real transparency, in my opinion, about um, the actual numbers and figures. And I feel um, in my gut that there's something that's not right here. How does a game get this big and then collapse this fast? I'm asking. I, I, I'm seriously asking because I do not know. I truly do not know how a game can rise as fast and it has distribution it has all there there's got to be these contracts in place so as a um attorney i know there's maybe secret contracts there's maybe private deals and there has to be something in place which is um 
would which would explain how does something like this happen because this is not common let me tell you this this is not common they had distribution in target they had distribution in walmart they had contracts with marvel they had contracts with marvel in san rio two of the largest ips that you could ever ask for right they had tons and tons of press of press they had tons and tons of influencers from steve aoki to argos anonymous if you want to call him an influencer and how does it all disappear in one night and i think if you are a meta zoo fan you have to ask yourself this question something must have happened for the other collapse now you might think oh well it was mike waddell it was shaw it's there there's somebody to blame people think oh you're just a negative net. no there's someone to blame this was a legitimate company that was doing really really well that had space and targets at Walmart's, Claire's, Hot Topics, even Five Below. I think Nick Strength and Pokemon found it at Five Below, and they just bundled it. They did. They they. It's very baffling to me how they can collapse. That they, remember in 2024 they made a roadmap, and it seemed like everything was good. And even in fact, you look at Argo's anonymous videos and you watch them, and he believes it's good. I, I truly do believe that. That at some point in time he re realized this was like a ticking, you know, tick, 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 and it would eventually somebody has to be left with the product, right? And I, I criticized them on this on Hello Kitty when the Hello Kitty prices continue to drop. He sold at full price before the uh, fifty percent collapse. And yes, I know he froze in like a free promo of himself, and all you know also catch uh, what's the catch them all collectibles, right? That dude, like, how do, how does this game go to zero? Like, the only people who know are Alpha Investments, uh, Argos or not. You have to be one of these major sellers, right? You don't just, like, stop selling. At some point in time, the engine, or as Alpha Investment would say, the assembly line kind of just collapses. The same with Catch Them All Collectible. I really find it difficult to believe that based on how much he how close he is with Mike Waddell and how many positive things he has to say with him. That, like no one could get a hold of him and just kind of collapsed unknowingly. I, I believe it's something a lot deeper than that. And you know, when people are told, like if you are a customer, you might not know the game is failing, but if you are a distributor, you definitely know the game is failing. If you are somebody selling to your subscribers, you know before your subscriber that the game is failing. So I think Bailey made some remarks about that, about Argos Anonymous, and, and, and he would be somebody who has information. But again, you know, people have claimed that he's a shadier individual in this. There's a lot of people who put their cook hands in the cookie jar, and when the cookie jar closed, they got absolutely flayed. And I would love to like sit down with all of them and kind of explore their perspective about it. I think Argos does have a in, in Argos and uh, Alpha Investments. They're both kind of the same type of MetaZoo distributor. They buy lots of MetaZoo and they sell to their subscribers. It's the same exact business model, and they throw in promos about themselves. How can they not realize something is wrong, right? And continue to sell. And at what point do they realize something is wrong? And what point do they not sell anymore? Anyway, guys.